Hey guys, uh, here's my review of the uh, Invisible Shield by Zag. Uh, I had an unboxing video earlier. Uh, if you, you should check that out before you view this one. Um, those are my dogs. Um, so here we go. The only problem I've had with this is the bubbles in it that I don't know if they're ever going to come out. Some of them. I'm still finding them. And the fact that it does seem to have, picks up a lot of smudges. And you can remove them by like a cloth. But still, you can even still see them. And uh, so also, when I was putting it on, I got a hair in it. If you guys can see that. Uh, I don't know. Um... Anyway, it's right there, and you can only see it if, like it's like a white behind it, which most of the stuff is. Let me see. Right there. Anyway, so when if you're going to put this on, you have to be real careful about how you put it on, and like if once if you're putting it on, do it like once over again. Make sure that there's nothing on the screen. Because um, you don't want the hair in it like I had. Because yeah, it, it makes the screen look a lot worse than it actually is. Well, other than that, it's very good. It is scratch resistant, which they said it was. It looks good. It's, it is hard to tell that's on. And uh, that's about it. I will have a uh, full iPod touch review later. Uh, probably tomorrow. Um, so, please subscribe, guys, and comment, rate, see how I'm doing. If I'm mumbling too much, you should tell me. Thanks, guys. See you later.